Now moving on to other news, Kenya has joined other nations in marking World Kiswahili Day with calls for Kenyans to embrace the use of Kiswahili language dominating the celebrations. Foreign Affairs Principal Secretary Roslyn Njogu, who graced the national celebrations in Nairobi, called on Kenyans to embrace the language even as she revealed that the Foreign Affairs Ministry will be rolling out centers in four foreign countries to spearhead use of the Kiswahili language by Kenyans in the diaspora. Kiswahili experts and fans converge in Nairobi to mark the World Kiswahili Day that is celebrated every 7th of July. This year's theme was unleashing Kenya's potential in digital era. Foreign Affairs Principal Secretary Rosalind Jogu, who led the celebrations calling upon Kenyans to embrace the usage of the language in their day-to-day -day affairs to enhance the growth of the language. Kupanuka kwa mawanda ya Kiswahili nchini barani Afrika na ugaibuni nimewafunza uh, ugaibuni ni diaspora na ugaibuni kuna ashiria kuongezeka kwa umuhimu wa lugha hii katika kuleta umoja utangamano mshikamano na utambulisho wa Mwafrika kuendeleza biashara uchumi sayansi na teknolojia the ps revealing that the foreign affairs ministry has rolled out plans to establish Swahili centers in foreign countries to capitalize on business ventures among the over 250 million Swahili speakers in the world. Tutafungua vituwa nne ambazo wanafunzi wale ama watu wale wetu ambao wako diaspora na watoto wao wataweza kukuja pale katika hivyo vituwa na wakaweza kutifunza kiswahili. These are Swahili experts who acknowledge that more needs to be done Father challenge Kenyans to embrace their official language. Kuna mambo mengi ambayo huwezi kuyasema. Nafikiri si sahihi. Kuna kila lugha ina uwezo wa kusema kila jambo linalohitajika kusemwa. Na Kiswahili kina, kina uwezo huo. Walau kama kila mkenya angekuwa na kitumia Kiswahili kwenye mazungumzo yake au maongezi ya kila siku, pangekuwa na amani zaidi hata wakati wa uchaguzi au uchaguzi kuu za taifa. The day was also celebrated in Mombasa with attendees calling on Kenyans to prioritize the language during their day-to-day -day activities. UNESCO adopted Kiswahili language during their 41st session of the General Conference of UNESCO on the 23rd of November 2021 and proclaimed the 7th of July every year as the World Kiswahili Language Day. For Easy Friday, I'm Gladys Mungai. Nam Kenya leo imejiunga na mataifa mengine kuadhimisha siku ya Kiswahili duniani huku mito ya kuku eh? Never mind but I tried I attempted and I think you should reach my skills right here on e